The book is Alongside, a practical guide for loving your neighbor in their time of trial. And with us is Sarah Beckman, the author. Welcome. Thank you. So great to be here. Now, I gather by the fact that you wrote this book that caring for people may not actually come as naturally to us as we would like it to be. We may have the sentiment but not know how to express it. Would that be fair to say? I think it's fair to say. I think people would maybe confuse it and think you have to be gifted to care for people, but I would challenge you to say that really all of us can care mm -hmm. if we just had the right tools. Now, giving and receiving, you've been on both ends of this, right? For and sure. Your childhood, tell us a bit about it. I'm the youngest of 14 kids. Whoa. Give you a minute to catch yes. up with your... Yeah. <laughs> and when I was young, my dad was sick as an alcoholic and that kind of caused our family to go into a great tumble, if you will. Mm -hmm. And we ended up losing our house and we had nowhere to go. So ultimately it was people coming alongside our family mm -hmm. that just saved us. We right. had to receive help right. and people did it well. And you know, then I've also later in my life, just, I think it was osmosis, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You just sort of see it and then you realize that's, that's what you want to do. But I've done it well and I've done it not so well. Tell me what you think not so well looks like. So for example, I want to help you and I say, what can I do to help? Let me know what I can do, which I think is a really generic offer. Mm -hmm. And what happens is it puts the burden on you mm. to either A, come up with how do I help or B, um, just receive the help. Receiving the help is way harder than people anticipate. So you can combat that by making a generic offer of let me know what I can do really specific. If you're a hairdresser and they're stuck in the hospital, cut their hair. If you're a musician, then offer to go and sit and play music. What you want to do is really look at what you're good at already and offer to help that way. I'm going to give you a couple situations and you give me two quick tips All right. okay, about how to deal with those situations. Someone's in the hospital for a serious operation that if it goes wrong could have dire consequences. You show up, what do you do, what do you not do? Show up is the first really important thing, honestly. Presence is so powerful. There's times when there just are no words. So just affirming that you care is so important. I'm here for you. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. If someone has lost a loved one, how do you do that in the most appropriate way? Well, the most common way is to say, I'm sorry for your loss. Have mm -hmm. you heard that? If you've uh, lost someone, times, yes. <laughs> right? And it's, it's not hurtful. Right. It's just empty. And one of the greatest things I learned is that if you give a remembrance of the person that they lost instead of a condolence, it's super powerful. So talk about the person I lost. You know what my favorite thing about James was? I just loved his energy, his spirit, his kindness, his compassion. It will stay with me. That means so much to someone when they're facing loss, but they don't remember, I'm sorry for your loss. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. remembrance, not condolence. All right. I'm going to change the rules. Ready? Oh, yeah. I do have one more thing I want to ask you. You've been on humanitarian missions to Haiti. You're dealing with strangers there. They don't know you. You don't know them. You may not even have a language in common. Give us a tip from that as we wrap up here. What we really focus on is being and demonstrating compassion. We go to City Soleil, which is one of the poorest slums in the Western Hemisphere, and we hold naked babies and we love them. And loving your neighbor, which is part of the subtitle of my book, is really not just your literal neighbor next door, your mom, your coworker, it's loving everyone. And our neighbor can be those little babies in Haiti that just want a human touch. You can't always fix it, but you can really be present and not hurt things. I think the most important word you uttered was human. Sarah Beckman, author of Alongside, thanks very much for being with us. Thank you. Such a pleasure.